Well, it's a growing and costly invasion. Wild pigs are tearing through Georgia's farmland, and the price tag is adding up fast. Now, a new study out of UGA shows just how much damage these animals are causing, not just the crops, but also to our entire ecosystem. Here now with us is Justine Smith. She's a UGA doctoral candidate and lead author on this study. Justine, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Justine, what made you, uh, what, what, what drew you to this particular study in the first place? <laughs> I figured that was going to be asked, and I think it's always a good one. Um, honestly, I started this project with camera trapping with wild pigs, and um, my project is a collaborative effort between the University of Georgia, the Jones Center at Ichiwe, uh, the Flint River Soil and Water Conservation District, and USDA APHIS Wildlife Services. Now, that's a lot of entities together, but ultimately what started this is the Jones Center had a drone, and they said if I wanted to use it, I absolutely could. And UGA was offering a course uh, introduction to remote sensing, drone flights, um, introduction to the part 107 and how to get that certification. And I decided to take it. And working on these properties with farming, I was incredibly motivated to try to quantify this damage. And I was given the supplies, I was taught and a lot of trust and I was able to go out and fly these fields and assess this damage. What, was there a movement or something that, that, that alerted you to the problem? Um, so wild pigs has been a growing problem in the U.S. for quite some time and so my project was actually funded from the pilot program at, which was provided by the 2018 Farm Bill Grant. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, a, it's a congressional thing um, ultimately. And so there were 20 pilot program studies that started in about 2020 and I was one of them. And that started the shift into researching wild pigs in general. A lot of us did uh, camera trapping while wildlife services conducted um, on-site removals. And then we were also able to branch out. So in Georgia, I was the only pilot program. There was also one on the Florida, South Georgia border. Mm -hmm. um, and there are also other pilot program studies down in the Southeast too. And some others have also explored using drones to assess damage in their respective states. Is that where the problem exists? Is, is it more wild pigs in the Southeastern portion of the state or some other portion of the state? And what are the problems that they're causing? Okay, good question. So ultimately, um, as of last year, if I'm remembering this, uh, that correctly, wild pigs have been reported in 29 states uh, in the US. Mm -hmm. And most of those states are congregated in the Southeast. Um, wild pigs were initially introduced in the Southeast in around the 1500s by Spanish explorers. And ultimately the population had slowly expanded over time. And because they're an invasive, uh, the damage is associated with them and the lack of natural predators. Um, they have a generalist diet. Uh, and their high capacity to reproduce is just kind of added into this problem. And so, yes, there, there's a lot of them in the Southeast in general. And so it has just become an increasing problem. And I'm very thankful that there's more attention coming to it. Yeah. What, what type of problem are they causing? Oh, right. Sorry. No, um, so most of their damage is associated with their rooting behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, their rooting behavior, um, they take their noses and they dig up in the ground. And especially with this study, uh, they will go in and root up the seeds that farmers unfortunately just planted, mm. um, ultimately causing damage and the lack of production, which then leads to the monetary loss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there anything that surprised you about your findings uh, with the amount of damage that they're causing? Um, for my findings, truthfully, I, I was... The monetary value, always putting things into perspective, is, is shocking in itself. But ultimately, I think this study brings to light the fact that wild pigs are have been a problem, will be a problem, and are going to be an ongoing problem. And so it needs to be a collaborative effort continuing forward. Um, you know, you need to work with your neighbors. Uh, you need to work with your agencies and things like that to really help mitigate this issue. And so I think just putting the, the numbers into perspective is what was the most shocking part for me. Gotcha. Now, uh, is this a problem where they're growing too fast, too soon? Could we see them in the metro area? Um, I don't think. So in that distribution map that I was talking about beforehand, um, in Georgia in particular, it's on the county level. Wild pigs have been reported mm -hmm. in every county, but 
I cannot see them in the grand sense, you know, being in the metro area mm -hmm. for a long period of time. I'm sure it was simply passing as they are more apt to be in a wild setting. Yeah. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Uh, what's, <laughs> what's next for your research? So I am actually finishing up my dissertation. I should be graduating this fall. Uh, I looked at some wild big bait preference, and I also looked into uh, their fear response to auditory playback devices just to see if there are other ways that we can help mitigate this damage, um, push them elsewhere, things like that. Because managing wild pigs and removing them is always, um, it's not just like a one size fits all for removal methods, it's a bunch of efforts used together. So if there's a way that we could potentially dissuade them by a certain sound or something like that, I was hoping to find that out. Yeah. All right. Justine Smith, doctoral candidate at UGA. Uh, congratulations on your research and, um, you know, best of wishes to you on your, on your, on your projects going forward.